Welcome to episode 12 of our series on elephant behavior. In this episode, we will explore a fascinating behavior known as thermoregulatory ear flapping. Our previous episode, which highlighted the ear flap slide behavior, generated significant interest, with many of our followers sharing their knowledge that ear flapping helps cool elephants down. And yes, they were absolutely correct. Today, we will dive deeper into this behavior, drawing on research and insights from the team at Elephant Voices. So, what does the behavior thermoregulatory ear flapping refer to? Slow, rhythmic, sustained flapping of the ears as the elephant continues with normal feeding, resting, or other activity. This form of ear flapping is used to help regulate the body temperature. The warmer it is, the more consistent and sustained the ear flapping becomes. So let's take a look at the context of behaviours that elephant voices have determined that thermoregulatory ear flapping can be found in. Foraging and comfort technique and maintenance. Our examples today would be truth to both contexts of behaviours, so let's see what each one means. Maintenance. What does maintenance refer to? Behaviours or activity states, excluding interaction, employed by elephants for basic subsistence. Foraging and comfort technique refers to methods or techniques employed by elephants to achieve comfort or to feed effectively on particular types of vegetation or species of plant. This is why we believe that both contexts of behaviours are relevant to our upcoming examples of thermoregulatory ear flapping. These contexts not only pertain to the maintenance of the elephant's physical performance, but also highlight the importance of cooling for their overall comfort. Our first clip and example showcases the herd's matriarch, Tokwe. She's foraging alone. In the slow motion replay, you can observe the gentle yet consistent flapping of her ears on a hot summer's day, all while she continues to pick and eat the vegetation surrounding her. It's night time at the elephant's homestead, and thanks to our hidden camera trap, we can observe them delighting in freshly cut banner grass from our plantation, as well as some newly laid teff. It's March 2024, a particularly warm month for us in South Africa, and you'll notice that nearly all of the elephants are engaging in thermoregulatory ear flapping. This behavior serves as an essential mechanism for cooling as they enjoy their meal. Fission is seen here with Jabalani. Now this clip shows a brief example of our last episode's behavior, ear flap slide, as Fission signals his intent to change activities before walking away from the dam where he had enjoyed a drink of water with Jabalani. As he passes by to reach some vegetation, we zoom in to observe his ears flapping slowly and rhythmically in a manner indicative of thermoregulatory ear flapping. In the next clip, we will provide further insights into the mechanics of how their ears function.
this way. Okay. We adore this clip of a young Kinesa spending her time out in the wild with Limpopo and Kumbura. This video is taken in the heat of summer, December 2020. Kinesa's unique and beautiful pink ears are eagerly flapping to help thermoregulate her body temperature. But let me explain how that works. Nature's mechanical engineering is truly remarkable. Let's pause and take a closer look at Kinesa's ear. First and foremost, an elephant's ear is a fantastic tool for identification as the prominent veins and capillaries create unique patterns within the ear in addition to its distinct physical shape. For those that may not be familiar with Kinesa's inspiring story, she lost a portion of her ear to a snare that nearly took her life in early 2020. However, this courageous elephant survived and now her uniquely shaped ear serves as a beautiful reminder of her amazing resilience and bravery. So these veins and capillaries are vessels that transport blood and as you can see are very close to the surface. Just by flapping their ears and controlling the blood flow through them, it is said that they can reduce their body temperature by up to 9 degrees centigrade. But how does that work, you ask? Well, first of all, when an elephant flaps their ears, it creates movement that allows air to circulate around their bodies, particularly near the blood vessels in their ears. This airflow helps dissipate heat. As the surface area of their ears is quite large in comparison to their bodies, they expose more surface area to the cooler air. Another clever benefit is that due to the ears being so rich in blood vessels, the blood cools down when it comes into contact with the cooler air outside. This cooler blood then circulates back into the body, helping to lower the overall body temperature. It's a truly a brilliant example of how nature has equipped elephants to adapt to their environment. Fortunately for Kinesa, our founder Adin was able to help unhook her ear from a thorn that had become caught. Elephants' ears can sometimes tear due to such situations, especially when they encounter thicker, more aggressive thorns, and sometimes attack from wildlife. This is why some elephants may have ears that appear a bit more ragged or bear significant tears like Lundy's, as seen here. These unique features tell a story of previous challenges each elephant may have faced in their lives. Jabalani often enjoy spending time alone in the wild during the day. This clip beautifully illustrates him thermoregulating with his ears on a hot winter's day in July 2022. Our midday winter temperatures can rise significantly in Hutzbrate, where we are located. As you watch, you will see him engage in his foraging techniques while his ears flap rhythmically, helping him maintain a comfortable body temperature even in the warmth of winter. Lundi is captured here on another winter's day in October 2022. The land appears quite dry, reflecting the elephant's anticipation for the first rains of the summer season. You can clearly see her thermoregulatory ear flapping in full force, a natural behaviour that helps her manage her body temperature in the warm and dry conditions. And that's a wrap for this episode of our Elephant Behaviour series. We are incredibly grateful that you've joined us and watched the entire episode. 
With each episode, we hope the world of elephant behavior becomes even more fascinating for you. Don't forget, you can catch up on all our episodes in our dedicated YouTube playlist, accessible by clicking the suggested link to the left of the screen now. We look forward to seeing you soon for episode 13. Cheerio.